With all that cold, dry air she's talking about, children's skin can become prone to eczema and other skin problems. Here to break it all down and help us, help is on the way with some great relief, is Dr. Sherry Ingraham with Advanced Dermatology. Good morning Good to morning. you. What is it about this time of year where everyone's already starting to kind of scratch, especially the kiddos with that sensitive yeah. skin? You know, eczema is due to a multitude of factors. It's due to environment, so weather, it's due to the immune system, and it's due to genetics. But when it's cold outside, the ambient humidity drops and our skin barrier really starts to dry out. So if you're prone to dry skin conditions such as eczema, it gets triggered and it really flares up. So we have to do everything we can mm -hmm. to avoid harsh soaps and repair the skin barrier. And it can affect adults as well, right? It can. You know, the incidence or the prevalence, we should say, of eczema mm -hmm. in children is anywhere from 10 to 18 percent in America. Mm -hmm. About 90 percent of eczema occurs in children. Mm -hmm. And then as they grow older, about 50 percent of them continue to have problems where they may, as adults, have hand eczema, mm -hmm. eyelid eczema, dry, sensitive skin. So it can be a lifelong issue they need to really prevent. You mentioned harsh soap. Kids are more than likely going to be using soap in the shower, the bathtub. So what what kind of soap isn't considered to be harsh? Yeah, you want to prepare in advance. You want to get soaps that are not bar soaps. You want to get liquid soap. So I like things that are soap-free, synthetic cleansers. Mm -hmm. There's so many now. Avena eczema therapy. Galderma makes great products like Cetaphil. There's CeraVe products. Mm -hmm. There are a host of products for eczema prone children. If it smells good, if it's fun, it's probably not good for children with eczema. Okay, let's talk about the, you mentioned it doesn't always have to be weather related. Food allergies could be a problem. Food is really interesting. So in the last year or two, a lot of new evidence has come out. And what they're saying now is, we used to think that children with eczema just had more food allergies. Well, what's happening is they have breaks on their facial skin. And so as babies, they're smearing food everywhere. And there's something called epicutaneous sensitization. So what's happening is the food they're eating is going through their skin and they're getting sensitized to it. And then they're developing the food allergy and not the other way. So I'm telling patients now when they're feeding children with dry, broken skin, put Vaseline on the face before they eat so they don't become sensitized to the food. And it's a really new way of thinking about food allergy. That's huge. I'm glad you brought it up. I have not heard that before, so we'll make sure to spread the word as well. Dr. Ingraham, thank you for being here. Good to see you today. Thank you.